It's eight o'clock in the morning, and there are a group of women down there who don't realize, and they're chatting away that they're waking other people up. Oh, just session hikers. Anyway, a few other people packing up. I'm gonna get my food bag as quietly as possible and uh, eat and get the heck out of here. Well, this morning temperature is quite warm. Usually over 20 Celsius. Gotta be over 80 Fahrenheit or near there. Humidity is very high. Well, last night at one point I had to pull the quilt over my legs because they were just a little cool. But uh, the legs were kind of sweaty when I took it off in the morning. Oh, it's just so oppressive. Uh, I can see why people might hike during the day or in the morning and then set up and sleep in the afternoon in the heat and then get up and walk into the dark in the evening just to get through this. Whew. Well, it's uh, about a mile and a half or less to some water at a culvert under a road. I'll do my water source. I'll drink up what I have, which is less than half a liter at the moment. And whatever I can uh, keep down when I get there. And uh, carry two full bottles out. I'll be needing water, that's for sure. I think I caught last evening where Letters have had an update of the weather and that only 30% chance of rain, which is better news. But uh, if the rain would lower the humidity and temperature, maybe it'd be better to have had the rain. I don't know what uh, it's like here. So don't know if that would really happen. But uh, I think it's 19 miles to that memorial shelter, uh, fingerboard and the memorial, and I think there's one after that, like 22 miles, I think it's a little too far, but maybe the 19, depending on the terrain again, and the heat, so right now it's just dirt and a fair amount of rock, and uh, not much climb, I haven't looked at the uh, Got hooked to see the elevation change, but I am pretty sure I recall seeing it was a bit up and down. But uh, you know, we're only talking a couple hundred feet at a time, uh, and if it's boulder as well, that slows you right down, you know, a mile an hour or less. Right now, in normal conditions, I'd be motoring along it. Maybe two and a half, but I'm just feeling like two now, and I'm feeling the sweat. I wear the hat because of the buggers that want to land in my hair, I get the beard, <laughs> get my face warmer, get warm boots. I put some deed on uh, my legs and arms and neck and face and ears. Uh, here's the cream later in the day when I'm close to uh, where I'm setting up so I don't have to worry about that uh, deep melting any of the plastic I might come in contact with. But uh, she's hot and uh, I didn't sleep very well at all. At one point I thought I heard a, a woman yell like you know in surprise or at an animal and I could kind of hear what I thought were footsteps of animals, but I never saw a deer. I should have picked earplugs in because the little bit of noise and sometimes the buzzing of a mosquito outside the net woke me up on top of uh, the woman who we were setting up down below who for some reason felt the need to come up and walk by the shelter to go down and then into the latrine rather than just walk to the latrine, anyway. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna affect my energy level. Maybe I have to dig out that caffeine energy drink I still have just to uh, get the gusto going. But we'll see 
Anyway, it's overcast, which will help for the sun, even though we're in the shade. But, uh, it's one of the days I'll probably be thinking about, gee, uh, can't wait for this to be over. <laughs> Later, oh, I got down here the stream, the culvert was dry. Yeah, I filled up uh, two water bottles and I probably drank over a liter. Uh, some of that sky is pretty dark looking. But then every now and then you see a little patch of blue popping through. Really has that feeling of threatening rain. Anyway, okay, my shirt is soaked. I've only been walking not even half an hour, and most of it was downhill. And uh, geez, the humidity. So high, so high. <laughs> anyway, okay, I got my electrolytes put in, got to put bottles on and get moving. so far uh, my shirt my pants are just so wet at one point of the earlier rest I was leaning forward and my shirt was just hanging forward I mean it's just so drenched and I just squeezed at the end of the hem and like three tablespoons with the sweat just poured off oh thankfully at the bottom of that hill someone had left water cash I was able to fill up a, a liter, drink half a liter. Oh, I've got a liter and a half right now. And I know that there's a very steep downhill coming. Jeopardy is just back a few feet. He is, he's sitting in the sun. I gotta come into the shade. There's just hardly any air movement at all. It's so hot and humid. And they is risk of going up these hills is wearing me out. Oof. I think when I get to that fingerboard shelter, that will be it for the day. However, you know, 12K or whatever miles, wherever it is. I am tired. Well, I'm at the top of uh, one of the hills, got a text and then a phone call from Sarge. His uh, trip got canceled. And although he can't take me to his place because of complications with the girlfriend and kids and things like that, it's okay. 
he is here on the trail. And uh, I should be, oh, I think I see him there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just see him there, up a couple hundred yards. So he's come to visit and he's brought water. <sighs> nice to see him, I think. Past the bridge and past those bushes before the corner. That's where he came out and was looking and waved at me. Hi, everybody. This is Sarge. Sarge. <laughs> Here in New York. What park are we at? This is Harriman State Park in yeah. Orange County, New York. Yeah, and he brought you, some clementines and even, water. Even though you're going to be walking north, you're right. Um, you're northbound on the trail. You're going to head south into no. Rockland County because Bear Mountain is in Rockland County. Yeah, south there, of here. there have been times when I've been on the trail and I'm walking into the sun and I'm thinking, there's something wrong here. <laughs> and it's like you're doing a little bit of a loop some, sometimes, like you're trying to reconnect to some other trail. But uh, in the end, it all adds up to uh, the Appalachian Trail. Yep. I get the to the end. Yep. Well, thanks and, for. Uh, I'm proud of this guy. He's doing a great job. <laughs> And I'll be back next year. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're going to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Now you have the experience, you'll have better equipment, and uh, yeah, you'll pick a better time of the year to go, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been there, so you, yeah, you'll have that ment mental uh, fortitude. Absolutely. Okay. Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah. got to the shelter uh, after the lemon squeeze I guess there ultimately were four of us there and uh, continue on and there is this kind of big wall a vertical wall <laughs> it wanted to go over apparently there was an easy blaze trail to go around it but it wasn't the AT so Man, I was the last one up just trying to figure out what was the route they were thinking about. Thankfully, you're able to pass up you know, your pack and poles to somebody else. But, uh, yeah, that was tough. And uh, again, all the sweat. And looking at the uh, gut hook, we're going to go through two little valleys before we make the last climb up to the shelter. And both of them had a um, stream or water source. You know, the full filled in water drop, so it's not intermittent. But both of them were dry. So I had two bottles, almost full, but they had electrolytes in them. And uh, got to the shelter. And, um, Slurner and Shortcake went on to the next shelter. I think, I think it's another nine miles. Anyway, uh, Jeopardy got to the shelter just before me. And I come around the corner and I see a young couple doing a session hike or whatever. And they've got a tent set up in the shelter, taking up almost half of it. And uh, I didn't exactly blow my cool, but I think it was pretty obvious that I wasn't keen about the tent being there and that that was not going to work. And uh, anyway, ended up talking to the guy Lloyd and this young girlfriend and about, you know, the ethics of uh, shelters and we was asking, you know, because there's nothing written down there at that shelter anyway. And I said, well, you know, the, rated for eight people, so got to take eight. And uh, I know you want to protect yourself from the flies and everything, but you know, you can try to rig it up like I did the night before, try to explain it to him, but I don't think he got what I was getting at. Uh, I don't think he was thinking uh, of it without the poles, so. 
Anyway, um, uh, we turned it 90 degrees, so it's only taking up three spots now. And uh, if more people show up, they're willing to take the tent down if they realize, you know, when it's raining, people want in the shelter. And right now I'm walking down a blue blaze, which is probably supposed to be half a mile at least each way, and some bushwhacking to get to a lake where you can fill up with some clean water. So I drank most of what I had, a liter and a half. And I still got another half. I'll drink that at the bottom. And uh, fill up with two liters. And then uh, carry the water bladder as well. So I have even more water if I need it. Oh, my arm's getting tired here. Okay, so what else? Um, I really do look like I'm bald. I am, I guess. Uh, yeah, I needed uh, unflavored water with an electrolyte to cook dinner. So it's uh, almost five o'clock now. I think everyone is going to be at the shelters there, but you never know the wild card is the people who show up late. Uh, there was this woman who were a little bit loud this morning uh, who may be coming to that shelter for all we know. So they may want to get in as well. Uh, a couple of that family, or one guy and his friend who is joining them for a few days uh, setting up a hammock and tent. But it may well rain. Uh, also, letters showed up and I was able to make it through lemon squeeze and over that <laughs> that uh, wall by herself. So kudos to her. Apparently she's one tough hombre. Oh. And uh, we were all talking about how tired we were and how exhausting that walk was and how much water we drank, like five liters or more. And if it wasn't for the water caches that were left, uh, I think maybe all but one listed water source if we're dry. So I guess there's a bit of a problem for tomorrow. I still have to figure out where I'm going tomorrow. Uh, because I was thinking about I would be in New York and no, I'm not. I don't have a plan. I know they're all going to the state park tomorrow. And depending on the weather, which may be raining, I'm going to go swimming and enjoying those kind of aspects. They might go to a hostel or a hotel in the town of Southern Burbank. Or they'll continue on to a camping spot about 16 miles from here. So I have to figure out what I'm doing. Um, maybe not so keen on the idea of going to the uh, park and doing what they're doing, but you know, I should know where I'm going to uh, actually camp, and it'll probably be further than the shelter that is next, where I believe Pop and Fraulein are, and Slurner and Shortcake went there. But you never know. You know if it's raining. Well, I just figure it as I go, I guess. I've got uh, the food, I just need the energy. And uh, if it's raining, it means the water sources are more likely to have something. But uh, no guarantee right off the bat because it takes a while for things to filter through. Anyway, let's wait till I get to the lake and see how that goes. Her life.
different bear hang. And I put the hook up there and you use the pole, put the hook on the end, and you kind of hook it up. And hopefully the bear can't get to it. It's a little better. Oh, everybody's talking about how beat up they are in the heat. And of course the other guys uh, have their plan about where they're going tomorrow and all that. But uh, because I was thinking of going to New York, I really didn't plan beyond this. And there's a shelter, but it's only, what, nine miles away. And then no shelter for quite a distance after that. I think it was camping. But it's supposed to rain heavy tomorrow. Uh, some of them might be going into the town, or the park, I should say. There's supposed to be a camping area in the park. Uh, one part of the park where they can go swimming and that type of thing, if the weather permits. And, uh, and a town, I guess we're a hotel room. So I don't know what I'm doing. Really need to uh, sit down with good hook make a decision if it's camping it can't be raining so otherwise it could be a very short day to another shelter